make next a Marion Berry Mint Mojito. And this one's fun because we get so many requests for recipes for our simple syrups that we bottled this year. Marion Berry Mint is one of our favorite flavors for the summertime. Um, blackberry or Marion Berry is a type of blackberry. Um, it's actually native to the East Coast but got transported to the West Coast over time and kind of loved it here like so many of us do and never left. So it's kind of an invasive species actually around here and in the best way in our opinion. And then mint is also an invasive species. Mint grows um, through underground side shoots and like this whole like system of infiltration basically <laughs> where it'll grow down, it'll grow to the side, and it'll pop up everywhere in your garden if you don't contain it. Oh, Bubba. He's just having some snack problems. They don't fit in that snack cup, buddy. So I heard you talking about mint. Yeah, <laughs> mint and, and underground mint. runners. Um, and I actually used to think that was a problem. And so I tried really hard to contain my mint. And now I'm actually kind of going with it. I'm utilizing more of like a permaculture philosophy on my mint and just saying that's okay because I don't think you can have too much mint personally. If Check you had a back small, in five years. If you had a really small area, like a really small, like I have 10 acres. So if it takes over a whole acre, like I still have nine other ones that I can use. If you had a smaller backyard, I have it'd a be small trickier. garden that I do in our um, our house is you know downtown an old section of town and we have a very small lot. But I have six beds, and if I let mint get into those beds, they it would be all over. Yeah, way yeah. Soon. You can't like. So I like actually a have a mint. wine barrel of mint. Yeah, that's a great. I have idea. three of them, three different varieties. But this last year, what started happening is that my wine barrel is rotting. And so mm -hmm. mint got out the bottom of it, yep. across it the path, and it's popping up in the pathways now and in the main bed. And so I'm, it's not a big deal. It's, you know, you know that it's not any other weed. You know that it's your mint and you just pick it up and I'm actually potting it so yep. that we can bring it over here. That's a good idea. You know, so I'm using it, but it will infiltrate. I grow mine um, in clawfoot bathtubs and it Aren't doesn't, you fancy? it doesn't grow out the bottom because it's porcelain completely surrounded so it works really really well but what you have to watch out for which is what we learned this year is that it will get really root bound and then it'll actually die and I felt like the worst farmer ever for because killing I mint. couldn't kill I like I killed mint which is one of those things well, that like you it's really hard to in kill. a porcelain bathtub too right. you've got a lot of water that can just sit because you've got a drain in a bathtub yeah but it can't well we fill and we fill ours with, ours with rock at the oh, bottom. Okay. So we put rock at the bottom so and then soil well. so that it drains a lot better through that drain. So it probably wasn't the, the wetness. It, it wasn't was probably the, the it was fact that it couldn't move and it wanted to move out. Yep. You, it needed freedom. It, it needed wild well, open spaces. I'm going to let you sing. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so much better if you did the, yeah, I mean, that was no. non-key for me either. So Either so way. if you're gonna grow mint though, because we've tried a bunch of different varieties now. Yeah. And definitely don't there's grow a orange reason. mint. No, yeah. not orange. Gross. Not really chocolate either. Like not my favorite. the best one Mo if you want to make a cocktail garden is mojito and julep. Yeah. For Basics. obvious reasons. Like I <laughs> named them correctly, and it's because they're specifically made and bred for cocktails. And you know what? Your basic so, like spearmint too, I love. Yes, that I love hurts. it. And we used a lot of that when we were making and this because lemon. that gives that really minty, minty, minty flavor. And lemon balm yeah. is a like a relative of mint and right. it makes a very good cocktail too. It's I don't very necessarily strong. use it for mojitos because no. it's got that really citrusy flavor. It kind of, I mean, it smells like cleaner. Like kind of, but I love it's that though. So love yeah, that, that is one of those where you put it in the drink and you're instantly like, this is a lemon drink, even if it has no lemon. Which in is it. cool because you might you don't need lemon then. Yeah. Um, I like it when I'm doing like gin and soda drinks. I'll muddle some of that in there. Mm. That's good. Okay, let's talk about the mojito though. I'm gonna have to do this one-handed. You're gonna have to assist me. <gasps> Venice has to make a cocktail. This never happens. Okay, <laughs> so. We are gonna make this uh, Marionberry Mint Mojito. It's using our Marionberry Mint syrup that we have, fresh mint, and club soda. And that is the brilliant part about it. You need a lime so and those things. And it's really basic. I'm also not gonna use the best rum today because awesome. I kinda wanna show you that the drink will be really good whether or not you're using like 
Florida kind of, you know, five, ten year, or this very basic George Ocean white rum. I will also add that these uh, mojito recipes make amazing mocktails. Yeah, because it add. really like feels like you're tasting a cocktail, but without the complex, gin. there's a lot going on. But then also really, really easy to make. I drank a lot of mocktail mojitos when I was pregnant, and because of, I was also I'm always pregnant in the summer. <laughs> always, every summer, <laughs> every, every, without fail, every two times, like a calf, <laughs> not a calf, like a calf, like a a calf, a cow. Yeah, a cow. Cows are pregnant. I said cow Cows first, and that would be bad. That yeah. would be like your kittens that had kittens, mm -hmm. which is just sad. Yeah, or do like the babies having babies that we referenced in the fig cocktail yeah, because the, wasp. the baby be babies. wasps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He really wants more Cheerios. It's gonna be a problem. I will go get more Cheerios. Or oh, we we can power through. You know, he needs to understand that life like, will go on not, yeah, without Cheerios, Cheerios right at the moment. Okay, so you're you gonna make this drink. Always get. You what don't. You are. Classic mojito recipe uses super fine sugar. You can replace that with simple syrup, which is what's great about this. So we're going to do, um, hey, what's down? This is the part where you just start searching for anything that you can shove in the baby's mouth to just get him to be happy. Just be happy. Okay, maybe you just want to sit right here. This is not hygienic. Oh, he wants a lime. Oh, of course he does. You can have a lime. He likes to juice limes with me. Okay, so go ahead and do three quarters of an ounce of that, which is going to be half of a shot glass. We don't have um, our really fancy um, tools that I normally you use that are them. very precise, but you don't need them. You know, most people at home are going to have a shot glass, so we'll show you that it's very possible to make a good cocktail without super precise measurements. There. Um, you're going to slap the mint. Why do we slap it? To bring out the oils. Yes, to release the oils in the leaf. It goes from the little veins in the leaf out to the main part of the um, leaf, and it's going to help get all that good flavor into the cocktail. So when you clap or you slap mint, um, it's going to be better than doing a strong, grinding muddle, which actually is going to bruise the mint and change the flavor of it. It gets it a little bitter. Bitter, right? Yep, yeah, not good. Yay! So this is going to be your rum. Do a full shot glass of that, please. And then talking about how unprecise we are going to be with these measurements, you're going to add your lime juice. You're, you want about a half an ounce. Um, this is the size lime I have. Compare it to a baby's head. Compare it to your own <laughs> mouth. It's not a huge lime, okay? So it's smaller than a fist. And I find that I get about an ounce and a half out of one lime, and I'm looking for a half ounce, so I'm gonna use- About a third of it. About a third of it, yeah. Which is what Hayes took. Minus what Hayes took, that's everything left if you squeeze it in. Oh, he just her. figured out that he doesn't like the lime. Do you? No, yucky. Yeah, that's a hard, hard pass. Hard lesson. Okay. You, another lime is not going to change. It's not going to be different. Yeah, you can have this one. That's another difficult lesson. Oh, oh. Ten minutes in with your snacks. Okay. So you are going to take that and you're going to shake it all up. And by shaking it, you're going to continue to release the mint into all of this. And that way you don't have to do that hard, smashy muddle. Good. Oh, you're giving it a good rhythm going there. You look fancy too. Look at you. <laughs> you could be like pour a drink with your left hand. Lighting with your right. Fire throwing things in the air. Oh, she's got tricks. Are you going to do like behind the back bartending tools? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but I love okay, it. I love it. This is cold. Perfect. It's cold. It, it feels really cold. That's good. <gasps> we didn't bring another cup. We need a cup. Hmm. Back there, but. Oh, this is better. This is better. And then you can see the prettiness of it. Yes. Okay. So you're going to dump it all in and hopefully you have room for all that ice. Go ahead, you don't have to strain a mojito. You're oh. gonna dump it all in and then you're gonna use a straw to get around the mint. Because you wanna to continue to have that mint get released in the cocktail as you go. Right, right, I do like it when I, oh, that's a lot of mint. Okay, so this should be in a tall glass <laughs> um, because you wanna add quite a bit of club soda now, normally. And this, oh, this glass is not only too small, it is broken. We have a broken glass. I mean, it's plastic, so it's not an emergency, but 
it, our drink is leaving slowly. <laughs> what are you smiling at? Yeah, I think that's wrong. Okay, better, much better. Next we're gonna add our club soda and we're gonna fill it to top, but uh, you would probably want a little bit of taller of a cup because you wanna do about three to four ounces of your club soda. I love these Mineragua club sodas. You buy them at um, Costco Business. There's also a brand called Tapo Chico that makes a really good sparkling uh, mineral water or just use, you know, Safeway brand, whatever, at the bar. Yeah. But I like these because they're glass bottles and they look pretty and they're more festive for a party. Cool. And then you're gonna stir it a little bit. And then you always drink mojito with a straw. And I know there's a lot of controversy about straws right now. So if but you're anti- only in Seattle. Well, no, I think it's like nationwide at least. But if you're anti-straw, good for you. Just get one of those silicone straws or a metal straw. A you reusable need straw. A reusable straw because you gotta drink mojito with a straw so you don't get the mint in your teeth. Ow, we have two straws, so we're gonna lay it in and try up this. What do you think? Uh, it's my favorite. <laughs> too much mint. Yeah, I don't either. And I'm going to be real honest here. I haven't had our Marionberry mint syrup in a mojito yet. What? I know. That's crazy. I know. That's crazy town. And it's I love it. the best way to have it. And it is. It is a very good summery cocktail. Oh my gosh. So I know this is not a seasonal one, but Venice was craving a Marionberry mint mojito last weekend and she was trying to make do with like what she had in her house. It didn't work. I was trying to text her the instructions on how to make it. She didn't have I didn't have lines, lines, which was the key it's a big ingredient. Part. I tried without, and then I tried with some concentrate, and it was not the same. It's not the same. You really need to do it right. Um, plan ahead. Make one of these, plan ahead, and maybe you could have, like, a, if you want this, but you're like, it's December, have, like, a Melikliki Maka Christmas party or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Christmas in Havana fun. would be a fun theme. <gasps> we should do a Christmas in Havana theme. I've that never even heard of that as a Or theme. like a Havana, Havana, Havana Nights, Havana 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 Nights. Um, New Year's Eve party. Oh! Now I'm skipsy now. Now I'm doing the face because I love that she idea. She does that with events. Yeah, <laughs> that would be really fun. I already have my outfit in my head. Do you? Mm -hmm. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. We should do that. Oh yeah, I got I got a mint log. That's why you have the straw, or you get the mint log, and it gets uh, caught. But and I wish um well, you can't really see it, but we can show them. Okay, the mint is in small pieces, and we didn't muddle at all. No, the ice did the work. And I you work know, smarter, you not it, harder. Yeah, you see it in movies all the time, and they're just like muddling away, and. You don't need to. You don't need which to. Which makes the cocktail that much easier. Also, it's extra minty because we have mint in the syrup. In the syrup. And that's quite key, a lot I of think. mint in this yes. syrup, actually. It's got a lot of it flavor. It was like, how many bags of mint? It was like an entire I think it was bag. Like, I think we had like 30 pounds. No, it wasn't There's 30 pounds. pounds. Yeah, it was we kept, pounds. We kept saying we needed like six pounds of this, six pounds of this, and then we kept putting it together and I think... 20 pounds maybe? Yeah, I think we could get 30 pounds. Because 30 pounds of mint is so, so much mint. Because mint weighs like nothing. Weighs nothing. It's yeah. like air. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna finish these cocktails. We're gonna get the kids another snack. We're gonna get offline here. So thank you guys. Talk Bye. to you later.